Watching the No Chill, No Give podcast. They got my boy Rashard McKent. Or does he need to make Brandon Jennings? Two true speakers of this shit. Go Instagram. And they got the real right on here too. By the way, all these Kobe guys too. What is, what is this number two option look like though? I mean, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I don't. Like, like I don't. Because he's still going to get hits. Like, I think he's the type of player that can still always get hits. So it doesn't matter what what option he is, as long as he's on the floor. But does he embrace that Paul George mentality now, where it's somebody else's team and I'm the two? But it's still like he's trying. He's do, he's trying, but there's no one stepping up. I don't. <laughs> how he comes there and averages thirty and LeBron averages twenty eight? Are we saying LeBron is the number two option? I mean, he's teeing it up for Anthony Davis, and he's done it publicly many, many times. He said that Anthony Davis should be the number one option. He's publicly said that a few times. He's just waiting for him to. No, he don't let AD cook. That's a lie, white boy. Stop. Get on TV. He the only one on, on the thing. No, AD without LeBron James was no one option. He's like a top five player in the NBA when AD was monsterizing when LeBron was out. Let's stop that right now. LeBron James had to have the ball in his hand. He didn't want to run the, ball, the offense through AD. No, stop it. I don't care if AD having a bad shooting night. Go through AD. Just because you 6'9", 280 pounds, you can run through niggas and run people over and get shots and easy shots. Don't mean AD, AD, 6'10", 6'11". He ain't got that frame like you. That's a lie. That's a lie. LeBron don't want to get him keys up to nobody. Be back. Yeah. He's just not there yet. Yeah. Oh, AD been there. AD was no one else on his own team. Y'all forgot he played with uh, Drew Holiday, Roger Rondo, and not last but not least, Another 25, 27 point score in Demarcus Cousin, and they was leading his team to the second round of playoff. Anthony Davis, y'all remember that? No, nah, they don't remember that because LeBron just got it all, they got it, got it all, got it all cloudy for him. I forgot that. that thing earlier in the week. We don't know if he'll ever get to that point, but Rashad, I see you over there excited. Nah. AD been to that point. I um, cause I just seen the TikTok about this. But AD is not a perimeter player that can go create a shot. LeBron James need a perimeter player. To go make jump shots, make layups, and that's what my Sean McKinney gonna get to. He AD cannot face up all day long like a goddamn. Uh, I don't think I don't think AD jump shot is sweeter like KG. Like KG used to face up uh, Tim Duncan. It's not like that. Like LeBron has always been in like finals territory, the number two option because the guys like Dwayne Wade and Game Six. Talk about it. Forty two. When it could have and should have been LeBron having the 42, he took the back seat and he was like, I think the numbers are a little off, but what we're talking about is in the finals 2011, when, when, uh, if they don't want it, was up two, they would, they would have been up two, they was up two one in that series. All LeBron ain't got to do be a 20 point game score. He was seven, he could be a 21, 22 point game score. That's not even what LeBron averaged for his career. LeBron 27. If you could have just averaged, he averaged 10 points. Think about this guy, he averaged 10 points off his scoring career average in that finals, and Dwayne Wade was averaging over 20, almost 27. It was going to be finals MVP, and LeBron James shit the bed, and he was the closer on that team, and LeBron James couldn't hold up just a little part of his work. That's what he's talking about. The number's a little off, but keep going. Allow the number two to take the number one role. Same with Kyrie. Right. Let the number two take the number one role. Because LeBron is number two on all, number one on all the team, but let the number when two take over. When he a guy who can come in and take clutch moments to the next level, it gives pressure release for him. But AD's not giving him pressure release where he can be Right, right, because AD is not a guard. AD can't go get his own shot. You know what I'm saying? AD, yeah. So, wing players. Wing players. That's true. And in a game six, and allow K, uh, a, uh, AD to have like 45, 10, and do his thing. So, that, in the series, he wasn't able to do that. He didn't have a number two. To take over an open row. Catapult to number one, give him a break. What we've seen him in game four say, look, I got a fucking number one option to sit in the first half. Where's my number two, right? And I think that's what contributed to him making the statements after the game. Frustration. Yeah, I mean, He's like, I gave so much of my... But LeBron, you need to let AD be the one option for three quarters. And then you take over. I've been saying this for years. When they had Let AD be the number one scoring option. And LeBron, you say your energy for the fourth quarter be a closer. Oh, he ain't got no closure, no closure, no closure. That's right. And we still didn't get the top, to the top of the mountain. Yeah, especially you have a young guy like AD, a superstar in this league. He, Hey, I gave you my all in the first half. You got to be the closer, and I feel like why D Wade. Nah, nah, uh, you can't be. You, you, uh, you, you got it backwards. I, I, I feel that's it. You don't want to. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good little conversation. AD need to be the three quarters. LeBron need to be the closer. That's, I that's how I agree with. Opportunity because the game playing against LeBron, mm. so that opens up the floor for these guys to be successful. So 
It just reminds me of the, the Shaq and Kobe, right? He has. This is very important. What are you going to say? That, okay, the first three quarters, I'm the number one option, number two, right? Down the stretch, you're the number one option, I'm number two. Because mm -hmm. what you do, I can't do. Shaq, you can't be the number one option if they have had a Shaq. Right. Can't make free throws, bro. Free throws, yeah. So yeah, one, two, three, you dominate, revert it, now it's Kobe's. See, if you don't have the, if you're not mindful of what the game is and what your game is, it kind of pushes this. Right? If Shaq, if you can't shoot free throws, they're going to do this. You can't be the number one option when we're trying to win. We have to give it to Kobe. He can shoot the free throws. He can hit the shots. He can go to one-on-one. -on -one. That's what made the deep. Listen. Yeah, come on, let me go. Look great with LeBron and then Kyrie. Look great. Those last five minutes, we're gonna win or lose on what Kyrie and D Wade did. Because one through third, they can go get their own I shot. Mean everybody involved, but when the elements of the, it, I don't want to shoot free. If I can't shoot free throws. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot free throws at the end of the game. That's, that's the guy, and that's what he don't. That's what he don't have. Man. That's what he don't have here. So when he's those last two shots. He didn't want to take that shit. Take nah. No, no, no. You can tell. You can see. Because it, it's, he knows it's it's a forced shot. Yes. And those are probably, when we look at it, those go back, those are probably the two worst decisions he had made in his basketball career. But is he working on forced shots? You know, we no. Don't he don't have a game. He don't have a package. He don't have it. Where it's like, let me go when, back like back all these black dudes, like people, are all you white, shot, eat, uh, or just nerdy people. Back. I'm going to my we look at basketball three, a little different than what Jim Jackson was telling Nick Wright. One, three, two, one. Saying, can you guard me? Can I get space? The the get your shot off. Get in your package. LeBron you never had that. I want to suck the defense in. I've been saying this for years. Ball LeBron. Okay, 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 boy. Now you're talking about, okay, my boy. And that shit goes in 33% of the time. 34% for his career all the time. This year was 30%. To be that guy, to be the guy who's in his game, right? You have to be a one-on-one -on -one player. Yes. He's not, not a one-on-one -on -one -on -one player. Exactly. Like Jokic, right? Jokic is... Some real shit. I, mean, I said that in my first video. I can see why he fell in. That was on YouTube. If not about Jokic, but about LeBron. one-on-one, two-on-two, by himself, his attributes don't kick in, right? What he's great at, you can't see You need shit in nine other players on the floor. Like LeBron, you need right. nine other players on the floor to see how great nine they can be. Players. Absolutely. And then you can see, you can see their greatness. But in the hood growing up, we play five on five. We bad. We play four on four, three on three, two on two, one on one. That's, one That's how we engage our skill sets and how good we are in the hood. Not just NBA powder puff media thing that prop other players up against the Kobe's, the Jordans, uh, uh, and, and the Kevin Durant's, and the all these one on one great skill players. They actually still won in the NBA level at high, high, the highest level too. That's why we look at. That's Kobe's expertise. That's right. That's Jordan. That's Paul Pierce or Kevin Durant or Paul George. Or them type of guys. Yeah, just like Milwaukee Bucks. So look, so look. Let me break down. He said some key for y'all. I don't make a video about this. Give it a ring. It says, uh, "I'm make a video about this. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, comment this video." I'm out. But he said Kobe came the Lakers' best player in the fourth quarter because he did because Shaq couldn't do stuff in the fourth quarter. He can't make free throw. He can't make jump shot. Kobe was the close in order to win. You needed Kobe to have a ball in the fourth quarter. Order for LeBron where you needed Kyrie and Dwayne Wade to have a ball in the fourth quarter, right? Even though I would give him the LeBron James defense in that game seven against Miami, he. You know, they was up. He took that game over. They gave him open jump shot, and LeBron hit dagger jump shot 100%. And I say, and that's what I made. I say, LeBron ain't all time great because he worked on with his sufficiency. He got better. That's why I say LeBron is all time great. But when it come down to it, he still doesn't have it in this game. He still doesn't have it fully complement. He doesn't never have worked on it. Uh, he's not a closer. That's why the Lakers are struggling. That's why they need a closer. Make sure, that's why Kirby hit the shot. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share the video, comment this video. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.